Okay, I want to show you the differences between my uh, IPS gaming monitor. This is a Pixio PX275H. It's a $250 uh, gaming monitor. It is 1440p, 95 hertz. Uh, and it has free sync and HDR, which is not, I mean, it's fake HDR. It's not real HDR. And I have the LG C1 here at the top. So I want to share with you my opinion about you know screen size and what most reviewers tell you uh, when they are recommending gaming monitors and especially when they talk about these OLED TVs because I, I have a very <laughs> strong opinion about that uh, and I disagree with, with what they're saying. So I have the OLED on SDR, okay? So this is not even a fair comparison. And I have the OLED with regular settings. So auto detect for the color gamut, saturation 55, warm 50, uh, uh, gamma 2.2, uh, the brightness 90. And so it's standard settings, nothing, nothing rare. I mean, nothing, you know, HLG, HDR or anything like that. And I have the OLED at 1440p. 95 hertz to match the gaming monitor okay so it's not even close okay the image quality is not even close but you know it is understandable the OLED is a lot more expensive but what I want to share with you is what I think about this kind of mentality that oh if you're getting a display to use with your computer the OLED TV is just huge it's too big so it's not gonna be convenient. You would rather have a smaller screen size for your desktop, right? No, wrong. <laughs> I disagree with that. You get the biggest screen size you can get. If you can afford a 77 inch or 83 inch OLED, that's better. <laughs> the only reason why I got this 48 inch uh, LG C1 is because that was the price I was willing to pay for it, okay? But if you can get a bigger screen for content consumption, it is better. So don't tell me that to browse on the internet, you don't want to have a big screen size. To browse on the internet, why would you spend $1,000 on a display? That makes no sense. So for, for productivity, like unless you are a professional content creator or you do video editing or something that has to do with a screen quality why would you care <laughs> about screen quality at all so don't tell me that you know you would rather have a smaller screen because you know it's too it's too big for a desktop that's nonsense and that pixel density uh, talk is nonsense in my opinion of course pixel density exists and on a cell phone a 1080p resolution looks okay in comparison with a plasma tv that's 60 inch and it's 1080p okay but not really for gaming the amount of jaggies that you're going to see on the screen it, they are the same so the aliasing you're gonna get is the same result of course on a smaller screen size you cannot see it as obvious but the pixel density talk okay and the screen size talk in my opinion, most reviews, and I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. You get the biggest monitor or the biggest screen size you can afford, and that's going to give you the best picture quality, period. <laughs> so 4K 83 inch is awesome. It's awesome. I don't have it because I, I don't have the space on this room. It's a small room, and I didn't have the money to buy it, okay? but you get it if you can so it is you know the pixel density on this screen size it's not a matter of pixel density it's a matter of how good 1440p looks on this game that's 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 what it comes down to so i look at the at the monitor and i look at the oled i see the same level of sharpness <laughs> there's no because this is a smaller screen that doesn't mean that it's gonna look sharper than a bigger screen is 1440p so 1440p is gonna look as sharp as 1440p can look <laughs> okay so let's talk about 
you know, of course, the more much more expensive display than the than the monitor, but is it really worth it? Is it is it worth the difference? Okay, so let's take a look at the colors. Okay, so in terms of the colors, it is not huge. Uh, the difference is not huge. Okay, you might get an IPS monitor that has great colors, and you might be happy with that. The biggest differences you're going to see between these two screen uh, you know, technologies is basically one, the contrast. After you see the OLED contrast, you, I mean, you can no longer consider any IPS monitor or any, you know, LCD monitors for that matter. You can no longer consider those to be acceptable. For image quality, let's, there's no way, after you see an OLED TV, there's no way you're spending $800 or more on an LCD screen. That makes absolutely no sense. I've, been I've, I've seen comparisons between, uh, you know, an HDR, IPS, uh, or, you know, or VA monitor, that's like $1,500. That is absolutely nonsense. And I've seen reviews comparing that monitor with an OLED and telling you, oh yeah, but you know the peak brightness of the LCD is a little bit more from a thousand nits to 1500 nits. It, it is di it is different and it is brighter, but it's not that much more noticeable than the black levels, you know, the, the contrast. <laughs> it is so much more important to get that on the OLED. So that's, in my opinion, that's absolutely nonsense to think that an LCD screen can can be compared with a self-emissive technology, okay? It cannot be compared. So also, the screen size talk, because that's where the reviewers, they are, I, I mean, in my opinion, they are misleading. They are saying, okay, yeah, the OLED is better, but you know, it's a huge screen, okay? So get the smaller monitor that has you know, a higher peak brightness and it's gonna be more convenient for, you know, desktop usage. In my opinion, you want to use the display for desktop usage, get a cheap monitor. <laughs> Why would you care about color gamut, contrast, all that stuff, if you're gonna be just working? you know, documents and doing stuff like that. I would be more concerned about the display being gentle with my eyes. <laughs> That's more important. You know, the display is not throwing blue lights to my eyes. So I would get a display that has technologies to save my eyes. Like, you know, let's say you can get a display that looks like a book <laughs> instead of like a screen. That would be amazing. So. Yes, forget about that productivity stuff. If you're gonna be playing video games and watching content, you want the biggest screen size you can afford. So, yeah, that's my opinion. Those reviews telling you get the smaller uh, monitor because it's gonna be, you know, better for desktop usage and the pixel density talk that okay because it's smaller you're gonna have a better pixel density. Nonsense, <laughs> nonsense. I disagree. So, is it worth it? Okay, you might be saying, yeah, bro, but, you know, that's clear. The other is better. I know that. And I, you know, I can only imagine those perfect blacks, that amazing contrast, the colors, the response time, which, you know, I have 95 hertz here. Let me see if I can notice the difference in input lag. No, I cannot notice the difference just by looking at it first glance. And if I do this... Can I notice any difference on the responsiveness? I cannot either. But it is superior in everything. But you know, you would say, yeah, but it is super expensive too. Okay. Is it worth it? Well, if you can get an LG C1 for $800, how can you beat that? I saw this LG C1 like a month ago, a month and a half ago going as low as $800, okay? I paid for mine, I paid $1,000. So is it worth it to pay $1,000? So I would say this, if you're building a gaming PC, 
and I'm and I want to do more videos about that because I do have strong opinions about what are the best options to build a gaming PC depending on the price point and the budget that you have. So if you're building a gaming PC and you're spending two thousand dollars on that gaming PC, okay, without counting the display, you want to get an OLED screen, okay? It doesn't have to be this LG C1, it can be an OLED monitor. There are OLED monitors coming. Uh, only if they are cheaper. Do not spend over a thousand dollars on a gaming monitor because it's a smaller screen size. That's a mistake in my opinion. If it's a better quality, yes. But not because it's a smaller screen size. Do not pay more for a smaller screen size. That if, if if you want to take away something from this video, that's my that's my opinion. Do not pay more money for a smaller screen size. That's nonsense. So let's say you can get uh, an OLED screen for a thousand dollars or less. Get it because you just spent two thousand dollars on that gaming PC. So think about this: you spend two thousand dollars on the gaming PC, and then you're going to buy. An LCD monitor that's like five hundred dollars. So you just spent twenty five hundred dollars or more, or almost. You know, if you get a higher one, higher end one, you might spend almost three thousand dollars. Okay. So the image quality that you're going to get, in my opinion, is going to be worse than a gaming console with these OLED TVs. And you can get an, a gaming console with these OLED TVs for fifteen hundred dollars. So why would you pay more money to get less, a lesser visual experience? No, it makes no sense. So you would tell me, because you know, a computer is not only for gaming. I can watch movies. Well, in the console you can watch movies. But you might say, yo, oh, I use the computer for work. You don't spend $2,000 on a computer for work. Sorry. <laughs> if you want a computer for work, just get a cheap computer. If you want a monitor for work, get a cheap monitor. You don't care about picture quality. You care about picture quality for gaming, for high-end gaming, and for you know to watch content. And to watch content and for gaming, you want the biggest and best, you know, better screen size, you know, bigger screen size and the best screen quality that you can get. Period. So my recommendation do not <laughs> do not go with that advice that you know a smaller screen size a higher pixel density it is more flexible it would allow you to do more stuff i don't agree with that so, sorry i don't agree with that so and the difference on the image quality is huge because of the contrast i've heard hdtv test say and and HDTV test is an expert. Contrast is the most important attribute of for picture quality. Of picture quality, contrast is the most important attribute of picture quality. So why the contrast give you also a higher perceived resolution? It makes everything pop. It gives you more depth on the image. These LCD screens, you know, not not talking about you know the the viewing angles, which they are not perfect. Um, you know, the OLED viewing angles are not perfect, but they are a lot better. But when you see something dark, this is like you know, you go to the desktop, for example. <laughs> you see something dark like this. And when you see this after seeing the OLED, this is unacceptable. Like this is no black. There's no blacks on the on the IPS. No blacks. This is it's terrible. <laughs> so that's why the image quality on the games it cannot be good because there's no perfect blacks. So yes, it is super expensive. But if you care about gaming, if you care about content consumption, you are spending a lot of money anyway because uh, a gaming PC. It's expensive. You cannot get a high-end gaming PC for less than 
uh, you know, nowadays for less than $2,000. You cannot get a high end. You can get a mid range for about $1,000. And in that case, my recommendation would be a plasma TV. So I am planning to make videos about my recommendations for every price point to build a gaming system around it. And I'm going to, you know, hit a thousand dollars, fifteen hundred, two thousand. And I think this is a very good time to buy because the new GPUs are about to release. So it's gonna be a good time to buy, in my opinion. So I want to make some videos giving you my opinion. So if you are not spending a lot of money on that gaming PC, my recommendation, the best screen quality you can get is a plasma TV. It is not these IPS LCD monitors. No, <laughs> don't spend three, four hundred dollars on LCD when you can get a plasma TV for a hundred or less or you know even two hundred dollars if you get the best ones. The screen quality is going to be bananas. The motion resolution when you move the camera is going to be perfect. It's going to be like, you know, OLED with black frame insertion at 60, but without flickering. The colors on SDR are going to be beautiful. You just need to make sure you get a good plasma TV. So I'm going to show you that uh, also. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Um, my intention with this video was not to tell you, oh, your monitor sucks or anything like that. Um, I know these OLED screens, they are very expensive. But if you are thinking, should I get high-end LCD monitor and spend like $600 or more? Or should I you know, save a little bit more money and get the OLED? What about that screen size? I see reviewers talking about, oh, it is too big. My opinion, that's nonsense. Save the money, get the bigger screen. And if you're spending more than $2,000 on a gaming PC, get an OLED screen, man. Do not get LCD. That's, that's going to be a waste of money because you're going to end up spending almost $3,000. Why would you do that if you can spend less than 2000 and get a gaming console with this OLED TV and get a better experience, get HDR, <laughs> get HDR, proper HDR, and get a much better visual experience. Graphic settings, they mean nothing. If you compare graphic settings with picture quality of the display, it's not even close. Like I can turn off all the graphic settings you want. This screen is still going to look better on the IPS with max out settings. 100%. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions.